Now that I've played Rocket Racing for a few days, I'm starting to appreciate the potential of the game more and more as I play it. The game does feel like it's an alpha or beta release, but we'll have to see as the game develops more. The courses we have so far from Psyonix aren't complicated enough to really show off how high the skill ceiling could go. But I've done some digging with the maps we have so far, and I've already found some really interesting secret paths. So I thought I'd share some of those secrets as I was climbing up through gold. Also, stay tuned tomorrow for an honest review of the most expensive DLC car we've ever seen in Rocket League. <laughs> $40? Are you kidding me, Epic Games? What the f Anyway, on to the races. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, with a few days of practice under my belt, um, I'm really getting to understand a lot of the mechanics of this game. Uh, it is a lot, more uh, a lot more complicated than you think. I'm also going to show some secrets uh, that I've found, at least, on some of these, these maps. This map is one of the weirdest ones. I did some workshopping on stream. Uh, Push.tv slash let me underscore L, by the way. Um, where there's some really unique directions you can take. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, that did not work that way that I wanted it to. Uh, but it should be okay here. My gosh. Uh, I'm trying to just focus on making sure I can get to this uh, this secret right here. So you can go down here for some reason. I'm not sure if this is intentional. Uh, and it looks like it might be because there's these uh, these boosters right here. But even though I made those mistakes, you can see I'm still in first. Um, I didn't want to flip, by the way, into those walls. Because I was too close to them. If you go too close to the walls and flip into them, you're going to hurt... Uh, hit your car on the walls. Like, it'd be smooth transitions here. There we go. Uh, this line is weird. It, it is very weird. Like, you can go here, go across, land over here, and then uh, sometimes if you have turbo here. I, I don't know if I really like that, though. It doesn't really make sense. Also, I saw some, like, mechanics of, like, using the uh, flips to surf. Also strange. But the this track here is very interesting. It seems intentional because they have those boosters there. It's such a weird shape of a map, though. I, I would show you, uh, but I'm also like, I want to get first so I can keep ranking up and get better racers. Um, I would show you how strange the border is down at the bottom, but it is, uh, it is really weird. The circle just kind of kills you at some point on some of these corners. This is the final lap, so I'm probably going to use my booster in a second. Like right here. But yeah, I f I f I'm finding that I'm mostly getting first pretty early on. I should be able to get the uh, final uh, turbo right here on this turn. There it is. I can do some really weird stuff like this where you fly through <laughs> fly through the trees. A little bit of uh, freestyle. So it's pretty fun. There are some like secrets on these maps. Um, I don't know if I explained it at the beginning too. Uh, the way that you get the boost at the beginning of the race is by clicking accelerate the second the green light shows up. So you can time it um, with the red lights. So I'll explain what I mean by that. Basically, uh, the lights will change pace, and that's to try to try to trick you, uh, trick you into clicking at the wrong time. But you'll see the three red lights go off at a certain pace. Uh, the last one is the green light. Uh, so you have to make sure you like, when you hear bing, 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 green, when you hit, when you hit the green on the fourth note, that's when you want to hit it. And the closest you are uh, to that green coming up, the closer you can get to 100%. I've hit 100% quite a few times now. I'm getting used to the pacing. Um, it seems like you have to be like a little bit careful of the timing. Um, but yeah, we're waiting for two people to join here. Also, it's really funny to see... Wait, what's, what's that guy doing? <laughs> Why is this car sideways? One time I looked through these players and the guy was under the, the... What is this guy doing? You're drunk. Get in line. One time there was a guy under the map. And there was like a random track piece floating in the middle of the, of the area, which is pretty interesting. You know, it's early access. Now, so I got 83. Got to hit like right on the right on the dot. I'm going to keep hammering home the idea of like constantly boosting. Also, I found that that way up there is not even that worth it. You can't get as much turbo by going up that way. And you don't really get that much further ahead. So I don't know if it's actually worth going that way. I'm not sure if that's intentional. Like I've almost gotten like two full turbos. Uh, before even, you know, I'm still in first, and I don't know if people have used them or not. Now I know this way is a lot faster because you get a lot, a lot of drift room as well. I'm always thinking about the the, the lines I'm trying to take on these maps uh, is wherever I can get the most drift time. And it seems like this game is heavy on drift. Also, be gotta be careful though that you don't use, uh, you don't focus too much on drifting to the point where your car slows down. You can see I'm like back down to uh, gray speed. Uh, as long as I can like drift out and keep my speed up that's like the important thing so i'm staying in 700 range 
Always making sure I just break out of that before the uh, 700 starts to drop quite a bit. And that way I can keep my speed. I, I think that when we get to the highest level of this game, you're going to see a lot of skill come out in the way people race. Uh, which is really exciting. I think that there's actually a lot of potential for that. Um, I will say I was I was a little bit negative with the uh, my first impressions. But I do see where the game could go. That's all I will say. I don't think there's a lot to do right now. I think the races are quite basic. Uh, some of the expert tracks are quite, quite nice. Um, but there needs to be more uh, creative freedom in the players. I did show like I did show like a situation where you could make some pretty unique turns and stuff. Try and bump this guy out of the way. He might beat me here. I got another another turbo. I got a really tight turns here. If he has a turbo, he wins. I think. Maybe not. Okay, we got it. Nice. Another first place. Like I said, I, I feel like I'm getting first place a lot. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm... What? I tied with him and he, and he took it away. That's crazy. Two, 209.42. We got, we got first place stolen somehow. We tied, technically. I'm pretty sure it actually ranks it at, as first because the percentages seem to be the exact same. And speaking of percentages, this tends to not work a lot right now. It just says fetching results forever. So I usually just back out. So you can see here we're at gold to 91%. We probably need at least two more first place wins-ish to get to gold three. Uh, the percentages have really been slowing down. Uh, and that's probably because we're getting to the upper level players. Uh, yesterday, I think people were saying that like plat one and plat two, it was already like you're ba barely gaining 1%. People were really grinding the game really early and try to get as many points as possible. I haven't really had the chance to do that, but I'm more so just wanting to learn like some like interesting mechanics. I have a clip here of somebody who tried to do like surfing. And I think there are certain applications of this, uh, but the problem is, is that I really don't think it's actually gaining that much overall. Like, I think the whole point is this isn't to gain speed, but it's more so to gain uh, turbo, like turbo charge. But I really don't think that's worth it when you're staying at like around 570. It looks cool though, but it's not, uh, I don't think it's really gonna do much for you. And we've already been spoiled that uh, of the fact that there will be custom racetracks. I mean, we assume that would be the case. Um, you can even see when you go into a certain map, it says track made by Psyonix. So I do plan on doing a lot of um, like custom tracks. I waited way too long for that. Oops. Also, there are um, boosters here. So if you like go down to the floor, uh, that was not it. Like that. There we go. Um, you can use those. Also, seems like a lot of players don't know like like race lines at all. They don't follow them. And not that race lines are always the best. Uh, but I played a lot of Forza. I know a lot about like this guy completely ruined my my track. Um, but the race lines are super important for getting those tight turns, like right here, going for inwards. Also, let me know what you guys think of the uh, auto drifting. I'm not a big fan of that either. Like the way that it just auto drifted right there. Not a fan. That's what I was trying to do in the first race, but everyone was getting my way. <laughs> now that I'm in first, though, it's always nice to be like ahead of people um, because then you can just do whatever for free. I find that when I'm with people, they get in my way of my lines because they're trying to do similar lines as well. But even here, like I'm going, I was 600. Now I want to get back up to 660 just by doing a mini drift. I get a boost here. I might use it actually. go I want to save a turbo for that last line there oh boy it's gonna have a turbo line here this is not good this guy's gonna land on me man he's getting my way I use my turbo, unfortunately. So it's probably going to win with a turbo here. I'm not going to get first. That, that guy got on top of my car. Oh my gosh, it's an absolute mess at the end here. No! Seventh place. That is an interesting racetrack. I like that one. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty good. 
uh, to learn those little jumps you can do there. But I do not like how if someone gets on top of you like that, they can really like ruin your boosting. Um, someone's someone like last race I think could got under under me and I absolutely pushed them right into the lava. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's supposed to be. I guess that's the case, but it's really interesting that it works that way. We hit a roadblock. Nice. So even with a seventh place, I believe we went, yeah, we went up 2%. So we have uh, one more first place here. It should just get us to gold three. All right, I'm in a sea of octanes and I got somebody next to me. I think that's the Jaeger. Oh, we got, we got, okay, we got a Lambo or not a Lambo. What is that? Is that the Corvette? I don't know what cars are in the game, to be honest. <laughs> I don't have the Jaeger. I don't know what that one is. There's the 100% boost. Give it the turbo. Oh, I actually really like this track. It's kind of basic, but it does feel good. So on these big straightaways, it's good to use the, the turbo. I will say a lot of the tracks though are not, they're too straight. And there needs to be more obstacles. Like right here, it's way too basic on these straightaways. There's not much to do it in these big stretches. So you can use the turbo, but you just use the turbo on another straightaway. So, I mean, it's hard to save up enough to really warrant using turbo every time. Oh, I didn't hit the extra. Oh, that's going to ruin me. Like it's it's like slightly inefficient to do those turns like that with the the boosting, but it's overall efficient because of the fact that you get turbo. I'm gonna save my boost this time. See if I can hold the speed into these. Here's the end. They're using their they're using their turbos at a really weird time. Hoping to get at least one or two more turbos here. We probably can get one for sure. We got to drift into here. We need one more turbo. This final turn should give us two, uh, one more. There we go. Lead this in. Two of these. And finish. Beautiful. Now, I think this should give us enough percentage to get gold three. Let's see. Will it give us the ranked recap? Probably not. <laughs> it never does. <laughs> Taking longer than usual. That's all good, man. And there it is. Gold three. We actually got quite a bit more percentage than I thought we would. So yeah, gold three is the final one before plat. The items and the quests don't seem that interesting yet. Um, as you can see, ranked, we basically just go through, get some XP and you get wheel colors so there's oem blues oem are those greens we already have oem green okay diamond ranks uh there's oem black so diamond rank three black oems were actually pretty hard to get in rocket league but now you can just get them by reaching diamond also white oems in, in elite it's kind of bizarre to me that they gave the champion rank and the unreal rank red and purple i get why based on the rank icons here there's like a thing here that shows the rank colors i don't even know that these are the same as the fortnite ranks where are they yeah this is like purple red and then i guess well this should have been black to be honest and then white could have been like silver they're missing an awesome opportunity by the way to put a big rank right here over the car would look sick I think it would look really cool. The little ranked icon next to the Fortnite guys. You know, you can play Fortnite and get that rank there. I don't care about that. My car is sitting there. I want to see the big rank right above my car. Yeah, that's it. I think that's a Jaeger as well. Same with the one behind me. That was terrible. Well, we got to make up for that. You still want to drift on these walls. Oh, this is the this is the uh, the race that I hate the one turn. I absolutely hate it. It's right here. Also, the arrows. I'm not sure if the arrows are showing you which way is like the fastest.
I'm not really sure. I'm still learning, obviously. I know this way is way faster. This corner right here is way faster. It's just a tighter turn entirely. Some of the ground is a little bit funky, as you can see. Let me try this way instead. Get more drift out here, maybe. There is a booster there, though. There's 1100. We have one more race to go around, so I have a lot of time to get these boosters up. I'll definitely pass this guy here with this speed here. I'll use another one too. Yeah, it's just not a comfortable landing. It's not a very smooth track there. But if that's as if that's as unique as it can get with like the uh, custom tra tracks, I don't mind that at all. Need a little more turbo for the end. Please. Nice. I think the person behind me was pretty close. Yeah, they were only behind by like 0.6 of a second there. That's pretty crazy. Not bad. So gold three, I can definitely tell is already getting way more interesting with the race. Uh, like in closeness with the players, people are getting way better at the races up here, but it's still like pretty re like relatively easy to get first place for me. At least I hope that, you know, as we get up in the higher ranks. Oh my God, we got saffron wheels. Let's try a yellow car. Oh yeah, there's like no yellow color. <laughs> it's very tilting. <laughs> Epic Games, what is this? Why is there no why is there no yellow for decals? Like that is not yellow. This is not yellow either. Look, it's like not even close. To the same kind of yellow. What's up with that? That dark blue is kind of nice actually. I got an idea. Kind of a fan. Rate the drip out of 10. I kinda like these colors. The blue the white's not actually that bad with the lightning. I kinda like it. Um this will probably be my last race for today. Um, cause I gotta go soon, but I do plan on doing more videos of this game on my main channel. If you guys like these videos, let me know. Um, I do want to get more into the, uh, the specifics. Oh, I messed up. Uh, the specifics of like all the mechanics in this game. There's actually some interesting stuff that happens on the, on the future levels. Nothing too crazy with this, these maps. What, what was that? But I also want to do more videos with like racing my friends in a private match and stuff. And then let me know if you guys want to do like a private tournament. I would love to do like a thing where I get you guys on your Epic Games accounts, come into the lobby. We do like a, a set of like certain players. We race it. Um, I would. I, I don't really know how that would work because I would be involved in the race because I don't think there's any spectating <laughs> situation going on here yet. Um, so I might have to workshop that a little bit. But uh, let me cook for a little bit. Uh, and like I said, I want to do a master class of maps where they're really, really complicated. I'm talking like stupidly hard and uh, really see who can become like the best player on those maps and hopefully we get to a point where the circuits that we have for maps are way harder than these and probably more played because these are very basic. No no rip into the people who made these maps obviously. They're, they are well done. Um, there's a few questionable things that I would say I would have I would have liked to see changed a little bit. Um, I don't know what just happened there too. Oh, I missed the extra speed boost. I'm trolling. I think people really struggle with this one, though, this map. Uh, I missed the boost as well. I'm not sure why people struggle with this one a lot. I think it's that internal turn part. I'm 
I'm not sure why people struggle with this one a lot. Oh boy. I heard someone behind me, I kind of panicked. Okay, we're good. Like, I, that's the kind of stuff that bothers me. Like, I got kind of under his car a little bit, and I get tripped up, but nothing happens to him. Same there. I'm not sure what just happened to me. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we have like a, that final little turn area. I gotta make sure I try to save up a double turbo here. I think I lost the boost, unfortunately. What the? <laughs> no! Oh no! Dude, there's some little like collision things going on. I'm gonna do one more, by the way. I I, I can't I can't be satisfied with a, a fifth place for the final race. There's something funny going on with some of the collisions. Like where the front end of my car just kind of flips up off of random objects on the ground. Also, some things that look like they're gonna mess with my car don't. Like the collisions they are kind of all over the place. I would love to know how much playtesting went into some of these maps because like the way some of the racetracks blend into each other, they're so sharp. Like it's not very smooth. Maybe that's on purpose. I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb it seems to me too i think that basic basically how it works is certain ranks get certain tracks which makes sense because the bronze and silver players probably shouldn't get race tracks that are like really impossible i messed that up again um but it seems to me like we just get like the same kind of like three or four tracks sprinkled in which i would have liked a little more variety it kind of shows just how few maps there really are there's only uh like i think like 20 maps which i'm saying only but like they're not the longest tracks the world building is not that complicated a lot of them are just canyon after canyon after canyon so i would have liked to see more like why isn't there like a magma or ice place i would have liked to love to see some more terrain going on with like some crazy slippery areas Maybe that comes in the future. I don't know. But I'd love to see that in the future, at least. And maybe if uh, we do get our hands on some map making tools for this, like getting track pieces and stuff, um, we can see some different materials and different uh, behaviors. Imagine like a very low control ice surface. You know, it's funny. They have like a quest that is like, oh, get like use a full drift boost it's almost never worth it to do uh, because you lower your speed too much I can hear someone behind me and by the way you can kick yourself in and out of um in and out of the uh, rocket boost, like these rocket drifts. You can kick yourself back out of it with the rocket drift in the opposite direction. I think that was enough to get me in first. I actually got second, wow. <laughs> I think I, if I got that extra uh, turbo there, it would have been perfect. It was off by 0.03 seconds. Not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed though. I'm definitely gonna be trying more of this and accelerating my, my skill in this game. I've been going into individual tracks and trying to find the best lines and best paths. And like I showed you in the very first race of today's video, there are some really, really obscure and strange surfaces you can go on. I don't know. It's some something really strange going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.